Hi, Cindy Dawson here, the Multimedia Strategist. I thought I would do a little quick video to give you some information about how to create a PayPal button for your CD. Now, I could go into a whole lot of detail about HTML coding or WordPress coding or whatever, but I am going to assume that you have someone to do that for you or you know it well enough to do it yourself. The only part that we're going to concentrate on in this particular video is creating the link that people click when they click on the PayPal button where they are taken. There are two ways you can sell your CDs. You can sell them yourself live from your own website with a PayPal button where people pay through PayPal. You are sent a notification of payment then you log into Kunaki and order the CD on the back end. That's option one. Option two is that you send people through a checkout button on your website to the Kunaki checkout page and people actually pay Kunaki directly including their shipping and handling and then Kunaki collects the money and sends it all to you at one time at the end of each month. Whichever way you choose to go is fine, it's just personal choice. It's just whatever you choose to do. So I am here in PayPal and what I'm going to do is show you how to create a PayPal button. So as you will notice we are here at PayPal. We're in the Merchant Services section and what I want to do is go down here to, I lost my cursor for a second there, I want to go down here to the Create a Button section which is right here Create Buttons. We're going to create a Buy Now button. I'm going to click on Buy Now and we're going to be taken to the Buy Now button page and we're going to create a button and it just so happens that I am creating a button for this particular CD. This is for home inspectors, how to generate leads, keep your current clients happy, and cultivate a lifetime of raving fans, prospecting calls for home inspectors. This is about how home inspectors can use teleseminars and monthly audio to grow their business. And you'll see that I've set the price at $47. So what we're going to do is go back over here to PayPal and I'm going to create this button. And we're going to call the item name Prospecting Calls for home inspectors and I'm going to set the price at $47. This is 47 United States dollars. So we're going to skip all of this because we don't want to customize the button in any way here. Um, we're not even going to mess with a specific shipping amount here because what I'm doing is I am adding enough into the price of the CD that they don't even have to worry about that. I'm just taking the shipping off the top. It's only going to cost me about four dollars which means I'm still going to be making about forty three dollars on this CD since it'll only cost me a dollar to produce it. I think I can handle the forty two dollars that I'm going to make on this CD. So the button is created now. We have the title and the price but I want to show you something cool. You could create the button right now but I want to get a little bit more specific about this button. So let's click on step three, customize advanced features. This is optional, but I'm going to show you how to do this because it's really, really cool and it will impress people. We're going to actually customize some checkout things about the checkout page. The first question is, do you want to let your customer change order quantities? If you do, then I'd say yes, but I don't because they're probably only going to be ordering one copy. There's no need for them to order two or three. Can your customer add special instructions in a message? Not really, because it's just going to be um, personally to me. So I'm going to say no, they do not add, they're not allowed to add personal instructions. Do you need your customer's shipping address? Yes, we do, because this is actually going to go to them in the mail. Now, this is the cool part. Once customers have checked out, you want to know where to send them. So this says take customers to this URL when they cancel their checkout. So for example if they decide they don't want to check out after all this is the page they would go to. Now let's stop for a second and I want to show you what I have down here. I have created a little text document and this is very important when you start doing PayPal buttons you'll want to create a document like this for yourself. This is my product specs document and I create one of these every time I do a PayPal button. I put the product name which you saw me fill in, the price which you saw me fill in. Then here's the thank you page URL. That's the redirect page after PayPal checkout and that's one of the blanks we're about to fill in. So I just made up this arbitrary URL. I, it doesn't even exist. I'm just making it up. I'm going to highlight this. This is where we want people to go after they have paid successfully. So let's do that first. Take customers to this URL when they finish checkout. 
This is where we want them to go, right there. But what if they cancel during checkout? Let's just send them back to the CoolestIdeas.com homepage. So here we go. Wait a minute, hold on a second, let me look at something. No, I do not have the www in there. Okay, in fact, I don't even need the backslash. All right, so we're going to send them back to CoolestIdeas.com. That's the home page. If they back out, they'll go back to the main home page. And that's all you need to fill in. You're really done with this. Scroll down here and click Create Button. And your button is now created. Once your button is created, you have two options. You can either choose the website code, and this is, get, this is kind of a long hunk of code here, but it actually contains a picture there's a certain picture there and, and it says pay with PayPal or something like that. You don't want that. The reason you don't want that is because you want to create your own little picture. Now you can use this if you want to and just paste it into your pay, your sales page which is great and then they'll just click on this to actually buy something. Or if you want to get picky about it and you want to get really really cool and you want to use your own graphic you can just use this one little link here as your checkout link. I, I left clicked on this once. I'm going to right click and copy this. And this is my PayPal. I'm going to come down here to the bottom and I'm going to put PayPal checkout button link. All right. And after that, I'm going to paste in this URL that I just created because I want to keep track of this. This is the URL that I can send out in an email or I can paste this to any button that I want. All right. Once you paste this code to your Buy Now button, when people click on that, they are taken to PayPal checkout. They see the product name, which is Prospecting Calls for Home Inspectors, which is what we have right up here. It will be listed at $47. There will be no shipping because you've absorbed that in the cost. And they will be, once they've finished paying, they will be redirected to your Thank You page, which is right here which is where they will see thank you for buying you can expect your CD to arrive in 10, 7, 7 to 10 days All right. now let's say you don't really want to do that let's say you want to create a PayPal button and instead of I mean a checkout button and instead of sending people to PayPal you want to send the people to check out here so you don't have to create any kind of a button you don't have to do anything you just send them directly to this checkout page they enter their quantity their state their zip and then they click on calculate shipping and they're taken to the next page they pay the shipping you still get the forty seven dollars minus one dollar for creation so you make forty six dollars on this you don't have to ship it yourself and it's taken care of how do you do that this is the easiest part yet you copy this URL which I got inside Kunaki this is the little link that I created remember when we talked in module 4 about creating links to actually get to your checkout page that's exactly what we did with this link I copied this link and I pasted it into my little notepad down here and here it is this is the Kunaki checkout page so if you ever decide you want to go from a PayPal button to a Kanaki button, you can leave the same little graphic on your page and change the URL that that button is associated with. So once a person reads your sales copy, decides they want it, they click on your Buy Now button. Because this code is embedded in your Buy Now button, they are redirected to this page, they fill in the form, they click Calculate Shipping, they're taken to the next page, and they're done. You will receive the $46 that you'll make on this product at the end of the month from Kunaki. So I hope that answers the question about how to create a PayPal button and how to create a Kunaki checkout button. Whichever you choose, I wish you the best success and I hope this has answered those questions.